Next event will be the women's 100 meter breaststroke. And there are the names, and here come the athletes. And the first two athletes that we're going to see are both first time national finalists. First one will be Maddie Spencer. She's from the Toronto Swim Club, coached by Bill O'Toole. She'll be walking out of the doors in just a second, I believe. I think I see her there. She is, and she'll be followed by Captain Ivanov from the London Aquatic Club, coached by Andrew Craven, Andrew Craven and Kelly Steves. They'll have lane nine and lane number eight. And they'll be at the top of the screen once we get a wide shot. Lane number seven, Kira Smith from Kamloops, an Olympian in 2016, was in the finals in the 200 meter breaststroke. And a bronze medalist, Byron, at the Commonwealth Games in 2018. Sydney Pickram, seven international medals to her credit, mostly in the individual medleys in the longer 200 meter breaststroke. She's trying the 100 meter because she wants to try to earn a berth on Canada's medley relay in Tokyo. Rachel Nickel, fifth at the Olympic Games, personal best times in the prelims, the semis, the finals. She was on fire in Rio. She's out of left bridge. Kelsey Roth just missed the Olympic team five years ago, and she has been dominating ever since. She likes the 200-meter breaststroke, too, where she was in the finals at the world, but the 100 is now a very important race for her. Avery Wiseman from Edmonton Olympian Swim Club was ID'd as a potential member of the future senior national team. She's right in the middle of the pool. Lane number two, Nina Kucheran from Sudbury, now training in the Markham Aquatic Club, was on the World Student Games team in 2019. Daly Herbert from Langley, BC. She'll be in lane number one, Langley Olympian Swim Club. And in lane number zero, Larda Beck from Calgary, her first national final. There she is. She'll have lane number zero. Very interesting. There are 10 different cities and clubs. Very often you'll have one or two powerful clubs that have a lot of the athletes in the finals. 10 different cities are represented here in this final. The breaststrokers can come from just about anywhere. The Canadian record in this event held by Anna Mae Pierce, 105.74, the Olympic A standard, 107.07. Kelsey Wog hit that A standard in the heats earlier today. She went just under 107 in 106.99. Two other athletes, Wiseman and Ivanov, had personal best to get to the final. Take your marks. And they're in the water for the women's 100 meter breaststroke. Two laps of the pool. It is Rachel Nickel in lane five, and Kelsey Wog is in lane four. Keep an eye on Sydney Pickram in lane six. Sydney Pickram was much slower going in the first lane. There you go, lane like four on the left, then five in the middle, six on the right from this straight ahead camera at the turn. Kelsey Wog has a devastating second 50, so if she's out in front at this point, the other swimmers are certainly probably not going to be able to challenge her. Kelsey Wong faster here than she was in the heats. 31-42, about two tenths faster. At this particular point now, lane four and five are the ones that are surrounded by those yellow buoys. Wong at the bottom, and then Rachel Nickel right next to her. Wong has the better back 25 meters here. Watch for Pickering to try to catch those two. She's the next lane over on lane number six. Right now it is Kelsey Wong just ahead of Rachel Nickel. Pickram is over on Nickel's right shoulder, but it is Kelsey Wong trying to get through it. Her personal best is 106.92, and she's done it. A personal best for Kelsey Wong in 106.77, and Rachel Nickel in second place. And then it is Avery Wiseman who's got third, 107.72 behind uh, Nickel. Uh, you can see right there, Rachel Nichols, she's got the Olympic tattoo rings on her, on her left shoulder right there. And Rachel just missed the Olympic standard. All right, she's three tenths over, and unfortunately for her, a little bit slow off the blocks was Rachel there. That could have been a tenth of it. Underwater, you're allowed one big pull, one big kick, and then your head must surface. So all the swimmers did it totally legally there. Pick it up off the stop, you've got Kelsey Wong. You got Kelsey on the left, then you got Rachel, and on the far right was Sydney Pickham. Pickham started out quick, but then couldn't keep up that speed. And you got the two in the middle who were able to pull ahead. Walk in and out. You must touch the wall with two hands, unlike the freestyle where you're allowed to do a flip turn or the backstroke. And at this point, Kelsey's pretty well in charge. 
I was on a training camp with Kelsey Walker, and she said, I have to rush home because I have pet lizards at home. I've got to take care of them, and she really does a good job with them, and I told her I'd try to mention it if I could. So Kelsey Wong, personal best time. She was a youth sports standout for the University of Manitoba, and she's a standout here for the Canadian national team, winning her spot on the Olympic Games. She did a great time in qualifying, but it's always nice to get even faster in the evening and cement that berth on the Olympic team. And just a slight correction, Kiara Smith was in third place, so it was Kelsey Walk first in that personal best time, and then Rachel Nickel, and then Kiara Smith third, ahead of Avery Wiseman. With uh, Sydney Pickram, there you see it, in fifth place. 106.77, Byron, a quarter of a second faster than her personal best. Started fast in the morning, got faster at night. Now she is standing by with Devin Haru. Thank you, Rob. Kelsey, you have qualified to be nominated for Tokyo after a personal best. Describe the moment. I'm just really excited. It's been a long 15 months, and I'm just happy to get up on the blocks and get and touch first. Tell me about those 15 months. We've talked about it through the first two days of these trials, stops and starts, wondering if this would happen, the challenges, the restrictions, and now you lay down that time. Yeah, there's been a lot of ups and downs, but I've put in a lot of great work the past five months, and I'm excited. You're excited. Yeah. We're looking up at the big screen, <laughs> and I know there are a lot of people who are also excited cheering you on. In fact, I should tell you, I just got a text message from Anna Mae Pierce, the <laughs> Canadian record holder in this event, who said yeah. she's so proud of you. And who's proud of you up on the big screen? Uh, my parents. Those are your parents. Happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> Let's go to the parents. Uh, Dad, let's start with you. Of course, happy Father's Day. What a performance by Kelsey. You were watching it. What does this moment mean to you? Oh, man, she's put in so much work. I mean, just like every other swimmer there, but she's put in an immense amount of work, and there's been so many uh, heartbreaks. And, uh, and to, to finally make that Olympic team here, so it's just awesome. She deserves it. Uh, and to you, Mom, we've heard about nerves from the swimmers. What's, where were the nerves for you watching this race tonight? Um, it, was, it was actually um, a little bit different watching it through this Zoom. Um, it's still exciting. Nerves are still there. We're cheering you on, Kelsey. Yeah, no question, Kelsey. Uh, of course, they would have been here in this moment for you. Um, you're a part of this team that is, you know, going to be going to Tokyo. The, the strength of the team, I've heard this repeatedly. What's it like to have you all back together, to feel this competitive nature and build towards these games? Yeah, the Canadian team is so strong and it's always such an honor to represent Canada. Uh, John Atkinson has talked a lot about professionalism, adaptability, no drama, and you had this really dramatic performance on demand. How important is that for you to come into this event and be able to put forward this after all of the delay like you talked about? Yeah, it's pretty awesome to be able to do this. I mean, it's been a crazy year and a half and it's just so fun racing. Well, Kelsey, it's been a pleasure watching you here, the personal best time. And like I said, you've qualified to be nominated for Tokyo. Congratulations on your performance here tonight. Thank you. All right, Rob. And Byron, back up to you.